It's my dog Blinny. She jumped on the uh, the kitchen counter, so I figured I'd use her to uh, focus the camera. Thank you for your assistance, Blinny. You may now depart. Her name means uh, little pancakes in in Russian, Blinny. Uh, but I digress. Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic for current and future leaders and it's this idea of listening more than you talk. This leadership hack came to me from Candido Braher. He's the CEO of Itau Unibanco. It's a Brazilian financial services company that has over 100,000 employees around the world. And when I interviewed him, he told me that this is his number one leadership hack and technique that he uses to be a more effective leader and something that he practices and encourages his leaders to practice at his company as well. So listening more than you talk. It sounds commonsensical, if that's a word, but for leaders, this is a very hard thing to grasp because as leaders, we are used to talking all the time. People want to hear from us. We sit at the top of the organization. And so we feel like we need to be talking and communicating and sharing and delegating and dictating all the time. But as Candido mentions, it's important for us to flip this idea on its head and to actually listen more than we talk. But as Candido and many other CEOs have pointed out, there is a big difference between listening and hearing. Hearing is simply the unconscious act of letting sound penetrate your ears. For example, right now I can hear a trash truck that's a couple blocks away. I can hear a bird outside. I can hear my dog running around, but I'm not listening to them. Hearing is the unconscious act of just letting sound enter your ear. Listening, on the other hand, requires conscious time, attention, effort, focus, and really giving somebody the, the attention that they deserve and making sure that you're hearing and understanding what they are saying. Do you want to hear something really crazy? 96% of the people who watch videos on this channel are not subscribed. Can you do me a favor and help me change that number by subscribing to this YouTube channel? Thank you very much. Now, think of a time when you were having a conversation with somebody and even though you were looking them right in the eyeball, you could tell that they were hearing you, but they really weren't listening. They were out floating around somewhere. They were thinking about lunch or who knows what else. Think about how that made you feel. Probably not very good. Now, as a leader, can you imagine the impact that you would have on other people if they felt that you were not listening to them? Or better yet, imagine the impact that you will have when others around you realize and appreciate that you are listening to them. It makes a huge difference. So not only do you need to listen more than you talk, but you also need to make sure that you're not just hearing people, you are actually listening to them. And this is something that you can practice with your kids, with your spouse, uh, with your significant other. You can practice this at work. This is a skill that we all need to work on in our personal lives and also inside of our organizations as well. So here's what you're going to do to practice this. The next time you are having a discussion with somebody, whether it's at work or whether it's at home, you're going to focus on listening to them. You're going to put away any technologies that might be distracting you. You are going to look at the other person. You're going to pay attention to your body language. In other words, if somebody's talking to you and you're just kind of like, yeah, right? That is not a good sign that you are listening to them. You're going to pay attention to your body language. You are going to use verbal cues and physical cues, nodding your head saying, mm-hmm, right? Making sure you're following along with the conversation. You will ask follow-up questions to let the other person know that you are listening to them. In fact, a lot of studies show that the best listeners make the conversation feel like it is collaborative, like it is both people participating. So you are going to do all of these things to help make sure that when you are talking to somebody else 
And when somebody is talking to you, they feel that you are listening to them. It's no wonder they say that the greatest form of love and respect that you can show somebody else is to listen to them. And don't we all want to feel that love and respect? So you need to make sure that as a leader, you show that love and respect to others. Remember, I'm here for you. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to use the hashtag leadership reset across all social channels. My team and I will be following it. And I'm going to do my best to help make sure that you are successful and becoming a better leader. So if I can help you in any way, email me, jacob at thefutureorganization.com.